Have you ever wondered what your sleep posture may be revealing about your health? Today we'll be covering four major health connections tied to sleep positions, along with the pros and cons for each. Let's start supine. Snoozing and sleeping on your back, according to Cleveland Clinic, may ease neck and back pain by allowing the spine to rest in a natural, stress-free alignment. And unlike stomach sleeping, back sleeping avoids compression of the digestive organs and bladder. For some, this can reduce discomfort from bloating or indigestion, especially when the upper body is slightly elevated. Though it's not without its potential cons, back sleeping has been found to increase risk of obstructive sleep apnea and snoring, particularly in people with existing airway obstructions. When lying on the back, gravity can cause the tongue and soft tissue to collapse backwards into the throat. Also, if you lie flat on your back after eating, stomach acid can flow back into the esophagus more easily, worsening gastroesophageal reflux or GERD. This is especially true if you don't elevate your head. If you regularly back sleep and snore or wake feeling tired, it's perhaps worth considering switching up positions. Perhaps lying on your side? Side sleeping has several benefits. Acid reflux is reliably reduced by sleeping on your left side, which keeps stomach acid from flowing upwards, whereas sleeping on your right side may worsen it. Side sleeping also helps keep your airway open, reducing snoring and sleep apnea symptoms compared to supine sleeping. However, prolonged pressure on the shoulder can cause rotator cuff tendon irritation, bursitis, or impingement syndrome, particularly in individuals with pre-existing shoulder issues. This often leads to stiffness, limited range of motion, or even tears over time. Some may find that using a pillow that's too flat or too lofted can misalign the neck, causing cervical strain, morning headaches, or generalized tension across the shoulders and upper back. I personally prefer side sleeping as I'm told it's reduced my snoring, but just because that's my preferred posture of choice doesn't mean it's right for you. Sleeping prone can open your airway and prevent collapsing soft tissues, which may help reduce snoring or mild obstructive sleep apnea in some individuals. Though the cons here generally outweigh any pros, as prone sleeping forces the head to turn to one side for breathing, twisting the neck out of alignment. This can cause stiffness, pain, and headaches upon waking. Stomach sleeping tends to flatten the natural lumbar curve and applies pressure to the spine, increasing risk of lower back strain. A systematic review reported higher prevalence of low back pain associated with prone sleeping versus side or supine positions. Lastly, as we age and flexibility decreases, stomach sleeping strain on the spine, neck, and muscles becomes more pronounced, often causing more harm than temporary benefit in older individuals. So I'm not saying you shouldn't, but stomach sleeping has its downsides. Don't believe me? Okay, try sleeping in a sleeper and see what happens. Are you looking for somewhere to test all the latest online exclusive mattresses in one place? Perfect, that's where Sleep Air comes in. Try out any mattress in our showrooms by booking an appointment today via the links in the description. Lastly are stress-related conditions. Curling into the fetal position, knees drawn tightly toward the chest, is commonly seen during periods of elevated emotional stress or sensitivity. Experts note this position may reflect unconscious attempts to self-soothe and feel protected at night. Physical closeness at bedtime, whether hugging your partner or a body pillow, can reduce stress by activating oxytocin release and calming the nervous system. This may improve both emotional well-being and sleep quality. Now, while fetal curling can feel soothing, overly tight postures may strain joints or restrict breathing through the night. This tension may worsen muscle stiffness or even promote neck and back discomfort. Sleeping with clenched fist or tightly wrapped limbs, even if subtle, can reflect physical tension or emotional overload. Such postures may accompany jaw clenching or grinding, contributing to discomfort or sleep disruptive behaviors. So the next time you wake up sore, groggy, or just plain tired, check your sleep posture. Switching up positions can do wonders for your sleep health. Did you enjoy the video? Prove it by hitting that like button. And if you enjoyed it so much, you can check out some of our other videos by clicking or tapping on screen now. Thanks for watching this one, and happy snoozing.